Welcome to this GBAC ISSA industry alert. I'm with Dr. Gavin McGregor Skinner, Senior Director of GBAC. Hello, Gavin. Hi, Jeff. We're talking about uh, this, some similar issues with the pandemic and the virus and the new variant going around this summer, making many concerned about their health. Gavin, it seems like we're almost going back to fundamentals. People are getting sick. We're seeing the numbers going up. They're at home. They're wondering what to do. What do you see in yourself, maybe in your own neighborhood? Yeah, great question, Jeff. We've seen a lot has changed during the pandemic. Uh, we're seeing more variants. Uh, again, people are starting to get a little bit confused between those numbers BA2 to BA4 to BA5. Let, let's just be really general here. Right now, there's a lot of people still getting infected, Jeff. It's, they're still getting sick. But I think what we want to emphasize right now is that cleaning and disinfection of the built environment where people are, where the virus could circulate is still essential. So clean for, cleaning for someone who's sick or could be sick, it, now again, that's not going to change. No matter what happens with this virus, that's not going to change. So many people, when they get sick, Gavin, they just stay home, they quarantine. And maybe they're cleaning, maybe they're not. What do you think about at home? You're at home, you're sick. Is that safe enough? One of the things we've seen throughout this pandemic, Jeff, is that the, the majority of people that get infected with COVID-19 and get ill actually have mild to moderate symptoms where they can safely recover at home. And we, we've, you know, again, we guess we've had some hospitalizations that are, you know, significant. Uh, unfortunately, we've had some deaths as well, which is significant. But the majority of people have been able to recover at home. And it's really important that people understand that there is a way to proper properly clean a sick room where a person is sick in um, now and in the future. You need to understand, Jeff, that, that air with virus leads to uh, um, that viruses fall out and land on surfaces. So those surfaces now will have virus. And also that dirty surfaces or contaminated surfaces can also lead to dirty air. And, we, and let's be really honest here. We do know that viruses and bacteria survive outside our bodies in the environment, not just for hours, but possibly days and even weeks. Thank you, Gavin. Any thoughts to using cleaning products or whatever you're, you're using to be healthier? Are people following directions? Oh, great question, Jeff. I think it's important to understand that um, cleaning is a process. It's a procedure. And I want everyone to think about that cleaning is a strategy and a very important strategy to prevent the transmission of any infectious disease agent, even COVID-19, in your home. And it's really important that people understand that uh, and that we actually focus on the methodologies which are backed by science and evidence. So we know, Jeff, that we have to clean surfaces first before we disinfect. And I want to emphasize, Jeff, that is a best practice measure for prevention of any infectious disease uh, any in any indoor space. And we need to clean first where we remove the germs, we remove the dirt, we remove the contaminants from surfaces. Um, we need to also that we understand that cleaning doesn't actually kill or destroy those germs. It just reduces the number of them on the surfaces. And then we have to disinfect. And disinfecting means using a product that is registered by a government agency, such as the U.S. Environmental Protection uh, Agency here in the U.S., and it kills, it destroys uh, bacteria and viruses. Well, Gavin, we, I know you've taught this in classes, workshops, you've written articles about it, clean, then disinfect. Talk about how to use disinfectants. Do you just spray it on a surface? Is there a way to approach that? Really important, Jeff. Uh, I think at ISSA, when with the, the Global Virus Advisory Council team, the GBAC team, we want to make sure that if people have spent money on cleaning products, cleaning equipment, they use them properly. So I want to emphasize to everyone, start every cleaning session, wear gloves, wear a face mask, protect yourself, not just from the viruses, the bacteria, but also from those products that you've spent money on. Understand that you clean first, you disinfect second, we've said that, but here's the big one, the big, big lesson, Jeff, read the label, follow the manufacturer's directions. If you read the label, it will say on the label how long that surface needs to stay wet with the disinfectant, don't miss this step. Don't skip it. And if you're not giving that disinfectant enough time to do its work, then you're not disinfecting. You're wasting your time. You're wasting your money. 
I know our cleaning professionals that might be watching this know this, but maybe those who are not cleaning professionals in homes, now they're learning something. So you're telling me, Gavin, you don't have to really memorize a lot of stuff. You just have to do what? Read the label, Jeff. They don't need to memorize it. Just read the label and follow directions. Yes, please read the label. Good stuff. <laughs>